Hi folks, Joe Morales with Tiffin Motorhomes here, standing in the 2021-25 RW. Let me be the first to welcome you to the life of roughing it smoothly. What we're going to go over in this tutorial is the operation of the soundbar with your television. Now your television will have multiple functions for, uh, available to it. Um, over the air television, Blu-ray player, and if you have the optional in-motion satellite system as well. So. For this demonstration, I've already loaded up a Blu-ray into the system, and that's what we'll be using for this demonstration. The operation of the soundbar is basically going to be the same for all three. Um, it's just going to decide on the TV remote as to what you're going to be watching, depending on what input you select. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to turn the TV on, and you want to make sure that the volume is all the way down to zero. Now, we're going to turn the Blu-ray, I'm sorry, not the Blu-ray, we're going to turn the soundbar on, and for the soundbar to operate with the television, you're going to choose the optical selection. The optical is the top right button. When you hit optical, you'll see a light flash, and you've got two lights blinking right there and it'll get itself all set up for you. Now all you have to do press play and we're going to turn the volume up using the soundbar remote. Fabulous sound. Blu-rays and DVDs are absolutely fabulous with the soundbar. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to lower this volume so you can hear me. Yes, I am a Star Wars junkie. I love them. Love all of them. So, again, to get the sound bar to operate with your television, you're going to turn your TV on, pick whatever input you're going to need, whether you're going to be watching over-the-air television, a Blu-ray, or your in-motion satellite system. For this demonstration, we use three remotes. You may, only use, you may only use two remotes, you may only use one remote. It all depends on what you're going to be doing and how you're going to be watching your television. So, you make sure that the volume on the TV is all the way down to zero. And you control the volume with the soundbar remote. And that's it. If you have any questions or, any, or need any other information, please refer to the manufacturer's literature that is located in your owner's information packet. If you can't find what you're looking for there, please don't hesitate to contact the service department here at Winfield. They're fabulous people and they'd be more than happy to help you out. Once again, this is Joe Morales. I thank you for your time and we'll see you soon.